Welcome back to Module 4, Creating Dark Posts in Ads Manager. Now, there are two main ways to create your dark posts. Number one, Facebook Ads Manager, and number two, Facebook Power Editor. Ads Manager is by far the easiest, simplest way for beginners to get started, and that's why I switched around the modules to actually start here first. Now, keep in mind, Power Editor is gonna give you more options, like more text per ad, more control over how your ads look in the newsfeed. In fact, there are so many differences that I have an entire module on them. You can find that module in the Placing Ads section of your members area. It's called Ads Manager versus Power Editor. But for now, let's just dive right into this tutorial and show you how to set up your first ad using Facebook Ads Manager. All right, so here I am on my Facebook newsfeed, and the first thing you wanna do is find Ads Manager. So I have my Ads Manager right here on the left side, just Ads Manager, just like that. Uh, you could also just type in, you know, uh, in Google, you can go do a Google search for Facebook Ad Manager. But um, I'm gonna show you a different way that I actually use. I, I wanna teach you like my strategies, right? So what I do is I actually create a bookmarks folder. You can go, you know, create a bookmarks folder there. And I create a bookmarks folder of Facebook. Now in this, in this, you know, folder I keep a few things like a link a direct link to power editor direct link to manage my ads create ads manage campaigns whatnot now where I'm going the most often is create ads okay so you click create ads now obviously your accounts gonna be different but this is the main link that you need to know right here Facebook okay so go, wait, go ahead and write this down if you're writing down facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash create facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash create this is where you're gonna go to be able to uh, instantly create an ad. So what I want you to do is I want you to visit that page and then bookmark this. You can either drag it down to your, you know, to your bar, or you can put it into a folder. Um, you know, there's lots of ways to bookmark, right? Bookmark this page. Whatever you do, get it somewhere where you have easy access to this page because this is one you're going to use a lot. Now we're talking about uh, creating a dark post in Ads Manager. Well, uh, there's really three kind of types of dark posts you could do here. You could do a dark post with uh, page post engagement, you know, uh, you could go, you'd have to go create that in, uh, in, in, in do that there. You could do one with clicks to website, which is just directly driving it to the website. And you could do one with website conversions. Same thing. I explain all these later. The main one you're going to be using all the time is clicks to website. So that's really the one you're going to get comfortable with. So when you want to create a dark post in ads manager, this right here is going to be your most common selection. So let's go ahead and click on that. So now, the first thing you're going to do is to determine what website you want to drive people to. Now, since this is just an example, I'm just going to throw one in. Um, so in this ebook.darkpostprofits. So what I'm doing is I put it in and I click on it. And what it's going to do is it's going to auto-populate some information for me. So here's the website it's going to. Now, in normal situations, I probably wouldn't, would have added some tracking as well. But in this situation, um, here's where you would upload an image. And then here's where you would edit the ad. Okay. The first things first, why is it showing up dark like this for me? Because when you do a, uh, you can't see it until you choose a Facebook page to associate it with. So the very first thing you need to do is you need to determine what page is going to represent this ad. It has to be represented by a page. So if you don't have one, you click this plus button right here and uh, you can set one up. It's really just that simple. It only just takes a minute. You don't even need to have any fans on it. You just click the plus button and set one up. Um, and if you have one already, you can go here and you can go find one. For instance, I'll just use this Chris Record one as the example. So now it's associated it. It's taken my, my Chris Record fan page and it's associated this ad with it. So as soon as it did that, it became light. Okay, that's the first thing you do. The second thing you do is you determine, um, there's, three, there's three sections here, desktop newsfeed, mobile newsfeed, and right column. See, they got checks next to all of them. So you gotta, right now, if I go place my ad, it's gonna show it everywhere. It's gonna show it on the desktop, it's gonna show it in the mobile newsfeed and it's gonna show it in the right column. Now listen, that's good. I may wanna do all three, but one thing you're gonna learn from me later is that I always segment this stuff. I, I, I never post all three in the same ad. I would rather have one ad going to desktop, one ad going to mobile, one ad going to right column. That way I know where the sales are coming from, which one's more effective. So in this case, the very first thing I do when I'm setting up a newsfeed uh, dark post is I'll remove that and I'll remove that. That's like the first thing I'll do. Now I just have a desktop newsfeed ad. It's easier for me to control. I know exactly where my sales are coming from. Okay. So now really all that's left is to kind of fill it in and kind of populate it real quick. So there's really three, three main sections. And there's this section here, which, uh, which is your text. It should be upside down, right? The text should be first, headline should be second, but whatever. Text, that's what goes here. Uh, headline, 
that's what goes down here. And then advanced options, description, that's what goes below. So in this, don't worry about what I'm writing here. I'm just going to give you an example, um, you know, just to kind of show you how a dark post can be created very, very easily. So I might say, uh, you know, something like, entrepreneurs, check out this free ebook with 350 dark post examples. Get it now. All right, something that simple. Now, see how it shows up right there. So now what I could do, I could type it in and notice I have a limited amount of text. I could type it in and then I can kind of determine, do I like this? Do I like the way it looks? What would I change about it? You've, all, you've got a limited amount of text. This is your, you know, your Picasso here figuring it out. Okay, so whatever. This is just an example. So there's that. The next thing I'm going to do is, okay, what do I want to do down here? You know, I might say something like, you know, download this, for, uh, download for free today. Okay, and see I got one, one space, you know, left. So that's about as much text as I get right there. Download for free today. Now the news feed link description goes underneath here. And so this is where you can be a little bit more descriptive because you have 200 characters. So I might say something like, you know, for the past three months, I have taken 350 plus screenshots of dark post ads um, in my FB news feed. Now you can have them for free in this powerful ebook. Download it today for free. Okay, something like that. Okay, so you see what I'm saying? So it shows up there. So here's your, here's your basics. For creating a dark post ad, here's your basics. You came up in review, you came up and you posted your clicks to website ad, you posted your link, you chose which fan page to, that you want to associate it with. Now, it's not going to be posted to that fan page. It's going to be a dark post. Clicks to website is a dark post. It's just associated, which means it's coming from like a fan page is posting it, but if you go to that fan page, you won't be able to see it. Okay. And then it's going to have this right here is the text. It's going to have the thumbnail. And you can always change the thumbnail too. You can upload images there. This one actually auto-populated a nice thumbnail. And then it's going to have uh, right here, this is the headline controlled there. And then it's going to have the news feed description, which is going to be controlled there. Okay. And then you have your choices here, what you want to do. Now, the next thing is you choose your audience. If you, um, I use the internet marketing bar um, tool here. This allows me to, to create custom audiences to load in there. You can learn a little bit more about that in another module. Um, or you can go down here to interests and you can choose interests. So let's say I want to choose internet marketing. Okay. If I choose internet marketing, look at all these, these terms that show up. Maybe internet marketing conference, and if you look over here, it tells me how many people kind of have an interest in this. So 229,000, this has 35,000, this has 23,000, this has 15,000. So you kind of see, like, kind of go along and see all that. So let's choose this internet marketing conference. Now, over here, it's going to give my definition. It's going to tell me my ad currently is going to people in the United States who have the interest in internet marketing conference. It's going to potentially reach 48,000 people. So that's where this ad is going to reach people who like the internet marketing conference, at least according to Facebook. So I can segment this down a little bit if I want. I could choose a specific state, you know, maybe instead of 13, maybe I bump it to 18, you know, it didn't really change it at all. So it's probably not kids that are like in the internet marketing conference. I could do it languages, um, but the main thing I'm gonna probably do is, is something like this. You know, I might run one ad to men, uh, 28,000, one ad to women. So I could I can go in here and I could change this all up um, as much as I want. But just generally speaking, there you go, 48,000 people. Then I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna name this campaign something. I always name it something different than what they give me. So I might do something, because I wanna name like Internet Marketing Conference, right? So I might my name of the ad might be ebook. Let's even make it more clear. Dark Post Profits, DPP, ebook. And then I might go Internet Marketing Conference as the keyword. Okay, just like that. And then, and then if I have like a bunch of different, I might redo this ad to another audience later and another audience, another audience, another audience. So just like that, save it. And then I choose a, you know, an ad set name. I might do, you know, internet marketing conference. And then I choose a budget. And usually I'll do something like $10 a day. I usually don't do a lot, just $10 a day and I'll let it go and let it ride out. Okay, now you might also uh, add more. If I wanted to add more, I could type in internet marketing again and I could add that. Internet marketing for newbies, right? And I could go again, 
Now, I'm not saying these are good, good terms to go for. I'm just more or less these are examples, right? Uh, we'll cover this a little bit more in later, uh, later in more detail. But this is how you do it. You come in here and you select these. And you, you know, now my reach is 60,000 people, right? And there you go. So I create this. Now, as far as bidding and pricing, um, you know, really, uh, there's two different ways. In this case, I'm looking for clicks to my website. So these are really the two options. Do you want to let Facebook automatically optimize your ads? Or do you want to manually set them? So if you manually set them, they're going to recommend a certain amount per click. You can do this. Um, me personally, I almost always use this automatically optimize because this right here is a much more advanced game. You're thinking, oh wow, that's pretty cheap. Yeah, but go ahead and try it. If you try this, they're probably not going to serve you ads. You probably have to bid about a dollar in order to get this. Now you might bid a dollar and it might give you ads much less, like 25, 35 cents, but this is just uh, kind of a recommended thing. When you automatically let Facebook do it, I, I tend to get better results. So for me, I pretty much always do this. Feel free to experiment. You could always run one ad this way and then do another ad the other way. Okay? And then that's it. And then you simply go down to place order. Now in this case, I'm not actually going to place it because it's an exa example ad, but I wanted to show you. So quick review. Type in the website. Uh, upload a thumbnail that's about this size. Um, choose a fan page for it to go to. Choose a headline. Choose text. Choose newsfeed. If you want, you can add a call to at, uh, action button. I could do something like download right there. It'll throw that button right there if I want. Um, uh, tracking pixel, we'll discuss this later. That's in some of the advanced modules. Choose if you wanted to go to mobile, right column, desktop, and uh, you know, then choose some interests. Uh, you know, Segment a little bit if you want, some of your age, gender, language, stuff like that. Name a campaign, name your ad set, give it a budget per day, uh, choose your, your, your bidding and your pricing, and place your order. Okay, that right there, my friends, is how you place uh, a dark post. And this right here is how it'll kind of look in the newsfeed. This is how people will see it. So you don't have to, you don't have to submit until you feel like it's pretty good. And you can start small and let it, and just let some stats come in and see how it goes. So hopefully this hands-on tutorial has been helpful in showing you how to create dark post ads with Ads Manager. All right, so in summary, look, I might be a little bit biased here, but I love Ad Manager. I just absolutely do. I, I rarely use Power Editor. I love using Ads Manager because it's just so simple to use. It's easy to duplicate campaigns. Um, I just absolutely love it. So for what it's worth, I recommend starting there. And even when you become an expert in advanced, um, they've just done such a good job with it. If you've ever heard people promoting Power Editor so much, it's because Facebook Ads Manager used to be super limited and very, very restricted. And Power Editor is where you could find all the goodies. But these days, they've loaded it all up in Ads Manager and they've done a fantastic job with that. So in summary, I'd say, look, Learn Ads Manager to start with. Become an expert there be before you bother becoming an expert in Power Editor. And don't worry, because in the next module, we're going to show you exactly how to create those dark posts in Power Editor as well.